morning, my name's Luke Harrison. I'm here to show some of the new features in Avid Media Composer version 4.0. The first thing I'd like to show is what we call mix and match on the timeline. What that allows us to do is if you notice on my one sequence, I have many different clips. Some of them are in different colors. And that is because we have set up Media Composer to tell us which frame rate is a specific color. So in this case, I have 29.97 as green. I can change that to a bit more brighter, and you can see that really comes out. But the important thing here is that we have multiple frame rates on the same sequence. So if I press play, you can see there's 24p film, there's 1080i, we're now going to XD cam EX35. So if I have lots of different footage shot in multiple different frame rates or multiple rasters, I can still drag and drop them on the timeline without having to do any transcoding or any conversion. And it's all real time and it's all broadcast quality. So any effects or trimming that I would normally put on, I can still do even with multiple effects. A huge thing for an editor. It will save me hours, days or weeks in transcoding. So that's multiple formats on the same timeline. The other thing we can do within uh, Media Composer is actually link to external formats. For example, with Avid AMA, all I can do is if I go to link to AMA volume here, I can see that on my desktop I have a virtual volume where we have P2 footage and we have XD cam footage. If I select the P2 folder here, we can see we have um, subfolders in, in the normal format of P2. If I click OK, it will, it will tell me that we're going to create a new bin called AMA bin. Now within that bin is we will just create some links to footage shot in P2. So there's a bit of P2 footage which is sitting on my desktop and again, I'm now editing native P2. I don't have to do transcoding. I don't have to do any conversion. That can edit straight away. So that's AMA import. Also, we have a very quick and, and easy way of um, moving from an offline process into the finishing or compositing process. I'm just going to open another project, which is for a music video for a band called Sneaky Sound System. So when I open this in Media Composer, you will see that we have a sequence here, which is a typical kind of offline media composer sequence. This is um, using footage which was shot on red, using a red camera, converted to DNX HD, and now within media composer I can do an offline edit. So here I have typical um, cuts, typical trimming, there's a picture in picture with a dissolve effect, and further on there's another dissolve. Now, when I finish the offline process and I want to send this for finishing or compositing or for doing uh, effects with, I can simply highlight my sequence called Sneaky Sound up here, right click and then send to Avid DS. What I end up with then is an AFE file that I can simply just import to uh, the Avid DS software Okay, and here it is and that will then relink to the original red footage that shot it in native red. So there's my sequence that was created offline in Media Composer. All the cut points, all the effects, every single effect has been taken into DS and I can now do uh, an online conform. We also have some new features in how to do stereoscopic editing. And for that, we're using our MacBook Pro here. So very um, simple, low-end MacBook Pro. Um, on here, we are using just a DVI cable out to our 3D monitor over here. Now, the thing about 3D or stereoscopic is, of course, it looks great, it's very impressive, but for myself as an editor, I don't necessarily want to have to spend eight hours editing in 3D. I would end up with a very severe headache. So what we've done with this footage here uh, in Media Composer, and this is a, an example of some footage from uh, a movie called Coraline, which is a stopgap animation movie, What's ha what, how they made this was they used two cameras side by side. In this case, they used still cameras to, to capture each frame. They then ended up with a series of TIFF files, one for each camera representing the left eye and the right eye. Using Avid Metafuse application, we can then, we can then uh, sequence them up and create one clip with two tracks. So if we look at Media Composer, this is one clip here, two tracks sitting side by side, but if I want to edit, so I can see the left and the right eye here, but if I go to my composer settings, I can say I just want to edit uh, on the left eye or the right eye. So in this case, 
I can click on left eye, say OK, and now I'm editing in 2D, so I'm editing as normal. But simply by clicking on the full screen uh, application, uh, full screen button, I can see the 3D being played out on the 3D monitor. So I've got 2D to edit, but I can um, use QA or quality control on the 3D monitor. And we have footage there used from Coraline, and we also have great footage shot by a company called Can Communicate in the UK of uh, a race with Usain Bolt. Again, shot, uh, footage shot using two cameras, two Sony EX cameras, left and right, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. But I can uh, see it on a on relatively inexpensive 3D monitor, but edit it on the left eye or the right eye in 2D.